Wilson's disease is a rare inherited disorder that causes copper to accumulate in your liver, brain and other vital organs. Normally, ingested copper is absorbed in the duodenum and is transported to the portal circulation. Then, copper is taken up by hepatocytes in the liver. In the hepatocytes, ATP7B protein binds copper to a posteriloplasmin to form ceruloplasmin, which is secreted into the blood, and excess copper is transported into the bile by the ATP7B protein. But in Wilson disease, there is a mutation in the ATP7B gene. The ATP7B gene encodes the ATP7B protein. Thus, in Wilson's disease, there is a deficiency in the ATP7B protein. Deficiency in the ATP7B protein causes a decrease in copper transport into bile, impairs its incorporation into ceruloplasmin and inhibits ceruloplasmin secretion into the blood. These changes cause copper accumulation in the liver and a decrease in circulating ceruloplasmin. The copper builds up inside the hepatocyte and starts to produce free radicals. Eventually, all this built-up copper and free radical damage, injures or destroys the hepatocytes. This damage eventually leads to chronic active hepatitis, fibrosis and cirrhosis and also causes free copper to spill out into the interstitial space and from there into the blood supply, where it's circulated to and deposited in other tissues, where it also causes free radical damage over time. One organ in particular is the brain. And for this reason, Wilson's disease can have serious neurological symptoms and complications. Neurologic involvement presents as movement disorders like tremor, poor coordination, chorea or rigid dystonia like spastic dystonia, mask-like facies, rigidity and gait disturbances. One place that it can deposit that can be helpful for diagnosis is in decimate membrane of the cornea, which is this membrane between the stroma and the endothelial layer of the cornea. So you look for something called Kaiser Fleischer rings, which are visible copper deposits in the cornea. The biochemical diagnosis of Wilson's disease is based on a decrease in serum seroplasmin, an increase in hepatic copper content, the most sensitive and accurate test and increased urinary excretion of copper. Demonstration of Kaiser Fleischer rings further favours the diagnosis. Testing for mutations in ATP7B can be done and is recommended for a definitive diagnosis. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.